Hello out there and welcome to the car watch. I'm obviously not Andy. Um, I know some of you are disappointed, but me and Andy do share one thing in common and that is we both have type 1 diabetes. Yay! So today I'm going to be talking about something that I've not tasted since 1998. Just kidding. Hot chocolate. We've got in front of us uh, a beautiful arrangement of different kinds of hot chocolate. Um, different carbs, different sugars. Which one's best? We don't know. I'm going to go with probably the one with no sugar because no sugar tastes great to me. Um, so here it goes. I'm going to talk about the first drink. I'm going to go from the most sugar to the least. Here is um, the Starbucks. And this is, you know, what most people go online and get and just makes me cringe because I'm just thinking in my head and how many units of insulin they're going to have to get for this. Um, and the crash later on that comes with it. Um, and for those of you who don't have to give insulin, the sugar crash that you will still get. So we have here the Starbucks hot chocolate. And let's talk about how many carbs. Can you guess it? Didn't think so. This puppy right here has 44 grams of carbohydrates. And it's got 38 grams of sugar. So basically, you're just drinking an entire huge cup of sugar. Thank you, Starbucks, for giving me type 2 diabetes. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try this. That's, pre that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I can taste the whole milk in it, um, which is good. That's a, that's a positive thing. It's better than skim milk because, you know, skim milk has more sugar in it. Um, and, you know, they add more things as they take away um, from from you. Um, so that was pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I mean, I don't know if that would be worth me giving a shot for, but if I was to have to draw up, um, I would probably give, let's see, it's 44. I'd probably give about... Six units for that. Uh, six units of insulin. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that in, what I would probably do is if I was really, if my blood sugar was low, I'd probably, and I was already in line at Starbucks, I would order that. Um, and I'd probably drink half of it. There you go. Okay. So let's go on to the next one. Swiss Miss. I've never been a fan. Um, it's always tastes like chalky. Chalky garbage to me, but things could have changed over the years, so we'll give it a try. Um, we've got over here, uh, let's see, an empty bag. I did empty delicious cocoa into the mug. Add eight ounces of hot water. Stir, sip, savor. You deserve it. You also deserve a shot that's going to come along with it. Um, let's uh, take a little sip of this. I like that because it tastes like those um, snowy days that we used to get, um, you know, when mom made you a nice cup of Swiss Miss, um, put a little marshmallow on it, um, or you're watching the movie Jack Frost and she just dumps all the marshmallows into it. Um, let's see. Oh, it's caffeine free. Goody. Hmm. Uh Okay, well, it's got 34 grams of sugar, so it's got less than this little this little thing right here. And it's got 28 grams of sugar. So basically, it's still pure sugar. Um, 160 calories, um, if people still count those. Um, okay, and it's, it includes 23 grams of added sugar. Nice. Uh, the ingredients are sugar, corn syrup, modified whey, cocoa, processed with alkali, hydrogenated coconut oil, non-fat milk, okay, and yeah, a bunch of, no, no, this is just, no. The second ingredient is corn syrup, so that's an absolute no, no. I'm sure that, I don't even know why they put this there, vitamin D, zero micrograms. Thank you for letting me know there's zero vitamin D in here, although it contains milk. That should let you know that you don't get all your vitamin D from milk. Ding, ding, ding. Take a supplement. Um, 
so that was pretty good. Um, I, I mean, I'd, I'd give probably four units for that, four or five. Um, it, yeah, that's not worth it. No, no, no. Um, okay, and the next one we have over here is Aunt Allison's recipe. Thank you, Aunt Allison. We've got the coconut almond milk. You can still drink milk. Okay, and reap the benefits straight from delicious almonds um, with very little carbs and um, not from a cow. So we've got two tablespoons of cocoa in there, which actually has more antioxidants than a glass of red wine. Or, if you can believe it, green tea, which can contain a lot of sugar. It can contain a lot of sugar if you order it from, say, Panera. We'll get to that at some other point. But um, let's try this out here. It's got a tablespoon of Truvia in it. So we're looking at low sugar. Zero sugar. I just got the zero sugar alert. And that makes diabetic happy. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Mm. Mm. That's good. That's good. It's not your typical chocolate milk taste, um, but it tastes healthy, and I like the taste of healthy. Um, it, it tastes good. It ta I mean, it tastes more like I'm, I'm drinking real ingredients, um, so that's that's a plus. Um, I, I actually prefer this one the best, um, and a lot of times I think that um, our Aunt Allison or everybody else on this planet would probably put a tablespoon um, of, of real sugar. Um, if you want just a little bit of sugar in there, um, uh, but the Truvia to me tastes great. Um, and I don't have to worry about giving a shot, which is my whole goal every day when I sniff out food or go make me a, a drink that I want to taste delicious. So, that's worth it to me. I think I'll settle on this one. Um, get me a nice book. Read Anne of Green Gables. Maybe the book It that Andy bought me for my birthday that I've been waiting to read. Um, and since it's October, it's good. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. And you know what? If you're not watching your carbs, I'm watching them for you. Don't you worry. I'm always watching them.